welcome you all to your own channel I'm Learning. now we will solve uh, one problem which is uh, based on the vector calculus the problem on the screen that find the constant a b c so that the vector a is equal to x plus 2y plus a z b x minus 3y minus z of j plus 4x plus c y plus 2z of k is irrotational also find the scalar point function phi such that the vector a is equal to gradient of phi so as it is mentioned in the question that uh, the vector is a irrotational it means that the vector is an irrotational only when their curl will be zero right so first of all we need to find out the curl uh, of a vector and then we put it equal, equal to zero and then uh, by equating their coefficient uh, we'll get the constant so here we go that solution given you have a vector a right is equal to x plus 2y plus az of i plus bx minus 3y minus uh, z of j plus 4x plus cy minus 2z of k right so this the vector is given so we can mention that since the given vector given vector a a is irrotational right is irrotational irrotation therefore or you can say hence uh, therefore uh, that uh, uh, what we call mm, uh, the curl of curl of vector a is equal to zero all right now then we can say curl of vector a means we can find out the curl itself that uh, uh, this is what that we need to find out the determinant that this is the i here we go j and k all right then we can say dou by dou x right dou by dou y so this is what we have a dou by dou x dou by dou y and this is the dou by z means x y z we have to partially differentiate then we need to write down the coefficient of i i coefficient is what here you have x plus 2y plus a z right then j coefficient is what that is b x uh, minus 3y minus z and uh, uh, k coefficient is uh, 4x plus c y minus z all right then simply you need to find that this row and this this row and this column will be hide so we have to cross multiply so on simplification this you have to differentiate this with respect to y so while you differentiate this term with respect to y so it's zero this c and this is the uh, zero all right so you'll get the that c right minus we have to do again cross multiply and minus right so this is what you have to differentiate this term with respect to z so it's zero this is also zero and this is minus one right so here we can say minus minus plus one right and i we have to write plus minus sign we need to use again this column and this row will be height so you have to cross multiply like this and like this is it or not so means this term will differentiate with respect to x so while you differentiate with respect to x this uh, term so its differentiation will be x4 this is 0 this is 0 so here you have 4 again this term will be differentiated with respect to z so this is 0 this is 0 and this is the 1 right so 4 plus a is it or not right into z yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry into j right okay then we have a uh, then we can say plus k this and this will be eliminated so we have to differentiate with respect to x so its differentiation is what b this is 0 this is 0 we have to differentiate with y so we can say plus 2 into k is equal to 0 why because that vector is uh, irrotational so curl is 0 so now we need to equate the coefficient right so while we equating that c plus 1 is equal to 
zero is it or not right then you can say it means that c is equal to what c is equal to minus one all right then uh, x plus eight. and then you have a sorry this is minus actually this is 4 minus a right now and uh, this is b minus 2 right so this is what you have a 4 minus uh, a is equal to 0 so we can say a is equal to 4 right and b minus 2 is equal to 0 so b is equal to uh, sorry that b is equal to 2 so these two con three constant that a b c constant we got that is a is equal to 4 b is equal to 2 and c is equal to minus 1 this first answer we got then we have to find out that uh, scalar pot potential function phi such that a is equal to delta of phi right now second we can find that uh, it is given also that vector a is equal to gradient of y all right so vector a is what that but while we write the vector a we have to see use the a b c values right so vector a is equal to now it become that vector a is equal to this is what you have a x plus 2 y plus a z so a is equal to 4 so we can say plus 4 z of i plus b is 2 so 2 x minus 3 y minus z of j right plus this is we have a 4x uh, minus y minus 2z of k right so this is the a right huh? now what we need to do that uh, we have to find out uh, that it is given that this a is equal to del of phi right so uh, here we go again So it is mentioned in the question that vector a is equal to gradient of phi right so it means that whatever the vector a is equal to we we can say that like this also vector a is equal to uh, gradient of phi means what gradient of phi is nothing but the i of dou phi by dou x plus uh, g of right dou phi by dou y plus k of dou phi by dou uh, z all right okay so these are the vector form right so then we, we need to equate that i coefficient j coefficient and k coefficient right so a is equal to just now we have written that value you have to say so we can say comparing comparing on both side right comparing the both side okay so while we compare the both side that means you can see here uh, that is dou phi by dou x is equal to what is equal to x plus i coefficient we have to compare x plus 2y plus 4z right so here you can write this like that also that is d phi is equal to uh, x uh, sorry x plus 2y plus 4z of uh, dx right now so we need to integrate this term that this term will become like this that is d phi is equal to integration of x plus 2y plus 4z of dx all right and then we can say this is what its simplification that you have a phi is equal to x square by 2 plus 2xy plus 4 x z plus function of this is what you have a uh, it is the function of y and z right then second term we have dou phi by let's say this is equation one right dou phi by dou y is equal to what y coefficient i i coefficient you have to compare that is i uh, sorry j that is 2x minus 3y minus z so we have a 2x minus 
3y minus z similarly you can say or directly can i write yes you understood this step same step you have so integration of d5 is equal to integration of 2x minus 3y minus z of uh, 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 this is what dy all right so this is here we have a phi is equal to uh, 2xy minus 3y squared by 2 right okay then minus yz plus f2 of x comma z right this let's say this equation as a 2 right then third we can say do phi by do z is equal to uh, uh, z co component you can say what is the z component 4x minus y minus uh, 2z right so well 4x minus y minus 2z right okay then you need to cross multiply that you can see uh, integration of d5 is equal to integration of 4x minus y minus 2z of dz all right then this is what you can say phi is equal to this will be 4xz minus yz minus z square 2 is 2z means z square by 2 2 2 will get cancelled plus phi of f of 3 and this is the function of x and y let's say it is equation 3 all right now so from equation 1 2 and 3 you can see uh, directly i can write that from 1 2 and 3 right so this is what you have x squared by 2 that phi directly you can write phi is equal to x squared by 2 minus 3y squared by 2 right and plus uh, z square oh, wait a second. yes plus 2z actually it is plus 2z right so it is plus z square right plus z square and uh, plus 2xy minus yz plus 4xz plus c so this is the required solution for the given problem thank you